Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Today we are going to look at uh, textbook page 113 and 114. Unit 12, Land of Glory is going to be the theme of Unit 12, Land of Glory. And our focus today is a national monument or Tugu Negara ya, ataupun dikenali sebagai Tugu Negara. Now, there are questions down there about the monument. Number one, have you seen the monument? Pernah tengok tak monument ni? What is it called? Ha, apa tadi digelarnya? Okay, where is it located? Di mana ia uh, diletakkan? And why do you think it was built? Dan mengapa ia dibina? Right, uh, Tugu Negara ni mungkin kamu pernah tengok Mungkin ada yang bertuah dapat melawat ya. Ha, dah tentu terletaknya di Malaysia. Dan letaknya di, lebih spesifik, di Kuala Lumpur. Dan uh, mengapa ia dibina? Ha, ini adalah satu benda yang kamu perlu fikirkan. Mengapa sesuatu uh, tugu atau binaan itu dibina? Tentulah ada sebabnya kan? Ha, tentulah ada sebabnya. So let's have a look at the next slide for you to to explore more of this topic today. So in this slide we are going to look at the conversation perbualan. So let's listen to understand what is uh, the national national monument all about. Okay listen. The national monument better known as Tugu Negara was built to honor the heroic men who fought for the country's peace and freedom. The 15-meter bronze monument is located in Kuala Lumpur. It was the brainchild of Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Haj, the first Prime Minister of Malaysia, and was sculpted by Felix de Welden. The monument has seven figures. These figures symbolize leadership, suffering, unity, vigilance, strength, courage, and sacrifice. A ceremony is held annually on Warriors Day, 31st July, to mark the nation's respect for the fallen heroes. The ceremony is attended by Duli Yang Maha Mulia Yang Dipertuan Agung, the Prime Minister, and the head of Royal Malaysian Armed Forces. So, itu adalah perbualan antara empat orang murid ya, tentang Tugu Negara or the National Monument. Now, what is very obvious, ya, sangat-sangat uh, kamu nampak ialah perkataan-perkataan yang di bold yang ditebalkan ya perkataan itu seperti honor brainchild sculpted vigilance and sac sacrifice and annually okey perkataan-perkataan ini hendaklah kamu cari untuk kamu lebih faham apa konten topik hari ini ya, yang yang kita belajar hari, hari ini now dalam uh, kamu untuk memahamkan apa itu national monument you have to complete the table. Kamu perlu lengkapkan jadual tu. Facts about national monument. Fakta tentang tugu negara. Now, let us read. Name of the structure. What is the name of the structure? Banyak kali kita ulang ya. Height. Ketinggiannya. Made of. Dibuat daripada apa? Idea by. So, who is the brainchild of this national monument? Sculptor. Now, who is the sculptor? And then, number of figures. How many figures are there in this monument? And the last one is the attendees of ceremony. Attendees of the ceremony on Warriors Day, Hari Pahlawan. On the 31st July. Okay. Dan kita tak lama lagi akan merayakan Hari Pahlawan lah. Warriors Day, 31st July, again. Right, now boys and girls, this is the task 
for you to do. Satu task kamu ialah cari perkataan, per, uh, maksud perkataan untuk perkataan honor, brinchal, sculpted, vigilance, sacrifice and annually. Perkataan yang tebal, teksnya tu, bold tu ya. Uh, dan seterusnya kamu complete the table. Berdasarkan readings kamu, berdasarkan conversation yang kamu dengar. So, itu sahaja sebenarnya hari ini. It's a very simple exercise. Uh, please do a lot of readings to know more about your own country. So, I think that's about all. Thank you. Have a nice day.